Hold on. This one's a swimmer. Hold on. Oh, get him, Ryan. Hawaii, what, we do. <laughs> what is up? Good morning, my adventure crew. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. Coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, we're fishing the wild, wild west. We just got out. We uh, ran across the fad. There's some marks on the buoy. The sun's not coming up yet, so we found the green stick to see if we can get lucky. Fishing me today is the one and only Yard sale ride. Only one half today, let's see what happens. All right, let's make a pass by the buoy and see what happens. All right, drifting the stick. A ton of bait over here. Has some big marks on it too. Well, the dolls has some big marks. This is what we refer to as a fat in Hawaii, a fish aggregate device. These are deployed by the state to help us local fishermen catch fish. Sometimes they hold fish, sometimes they only hold little fish. Oh. Right, I just saw an eye in the aquapar right here. Uh -oh, first one. What, big or small one? Small oh, one. Keep jerking, keep jerking. There's eyes in the south. I'm drinking it. Come on. Huh? Bigger one on the back, three, huh? You just jumped on three, right? All right, see the way it was. Right on. Turn right, let it out. So right about now, you're wondering what kind of fishing technique are we using? This is a green stick. It's a Japan method. Um, what Rai is doing is he's yanking the main line, going to the back deck where we have lures and squids bouncing in the water. And there's a giant wooden, what we refer to as a bird, about a hundred yards back from the boat, which keeps the whole line tight and keeps the squids bouncing. So that way the fish, I guess, don't see the line in the water. Sometimes it works really good. Sometimes not so much. Let's watch the rye yank that stick and let's see what happens. I got, 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 I where you put the most of you, right? Oh, I'm missing the um, anchor. Guess you guys know the rules. The anchor fish, if you want to get something, you have to get something. I'll tell you what, that sea god loves this fast moon moose bees. Let's get these in the water. Let's see, we get some fireworks, boys and girls. Here we go for the dream. Oh, it's gonna get real good now. It's gonna get real good now. All right, let's go. Not right there, there's gonna be a martyr. I don't know. When these birds are here, it's aquas. The dog was in his birds, wherever the bait is, where the fish is. Let's we'll see. The octopus, I don't know. A big splash of fellow, that octopus I saw. The little octopus getting caught. Oh no, there's eyes in him, right? Right, there's eyes right there, right? Right, there's eyes in him right now. They brought the octopus, see him? Oh, you better watch, right? See him. That's all I did here. Watch this fast. That's all I did here. All right, all eyes. Look at him. Or even Nehu right there. Oh, look at him. I thought my eyes too. Both in my eyes. My eyes and eyes. Let's see it, baby. Sometimes it feels like you're gonna get that perfect pass, and everything's gonna come together. But really. You just have to wait a little bit longer. 
whenever I run into people, they always ask, so where is Tyler? What's he up to? How come he's not in your videos anymore? Well, here he is. He's been busy. He recently got married and he upgraded to a bigger boat. So this is him on his 38 foot force that he just upgraded to twin 300 outboards. When tuna fishing, it's a lot of patience. And the way I look at it is, it's like being at the DMV, pulling your ticket and waiting your turn. There's other people, other friends that come in front of you and they're gonna get their ticket called first, but you just have to wait. Patience is key sometimes. Oh, this bird pile. All right, Akubus. There's definitely eyes here. We're marking them, but there's so much bait in the water, it makes it hard. A ton of bait in the water. We rip all I don't know. Bubble. Bubble. Hold on, right. Hold on, we make it more. Hold on, we make it more. Hold on. Alright, I'm filming. How's the alcohol going off? Bubble, I'll take that. Right, hear that short corner right there. Oh, well, there we're gonna get tangled. Cut off. You won't believe how much those words came back to hunt me. Oh, well, there we're gonna get tangled. Off. That's exactly what happened. And you know what? I'm probably 100% to blame for this. They got tangled on the run, I guess, and one of them got cut off. And when we brought the, the lines together, it was one big knot. They spun around, one was melted off. And the way it looked is that the longer gear was still on. I went to cut the line on the short corner, hoping that it would free up the knot to bring in the longer gear line. When honestly, I ended up just cutting off the other eye. Talk about making you want to kick yourself. I lost two 9-inch jets and two Aggies. I was sick. That was my fault and my goal for the day was to get Ryan's first Aggie and I just shut the door on that. But you know what? Never give up. Uh, one for three right now, not good. 9.30, they've been on the fire team. Now slide down, there's so much bolster, lots of pressure. I'm, I'm filming this right now and it's uh, early September. Tell you what, that summer bite was terrible. That late bite is going to be better than that summer bite, I feel like. Let's see, all the guys that hang up their boat early, tell you what, if I want to play the late season bite, if I watch it in October. Oh, all right, we're going to slide down. Let's get out of here. That guy right there, though, I don't think you can see it. It's kind of far away. That right there is handline to you. That guy right there. He's almost 80 years old, and I put that guy against any boat over here. I guarantee you. If you fish west side, you know who that is. That guy is a legend. I guarantee you, smash everyone. Even us, guaranteed. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out too much pressure. Man, though. Ever since that 9:30 tide change, it's been slow. Not much going on. Still a couple boats here in their stop. Almost just lying straight for now, just working the general area. Here's right there to call your number. The bad thing is the number count at the DMV is broken right now, so you have no idea we are alive. I'm just waiting, just waiting. This guy got his number called. Just going on. I ended up catching up to Tyler again and he thought it'd be cool to hook up Marlin right in front of me and let it go within seconds. We all got a good laugh and I can't believe I had my phone out to catch that shot. Hey Marlin. I get this question often, where do you get your fishing gear from? And a simple answer for me is highfishgear.com. I use raw five at checkout, I get 5% off super fast extremely fast shipping i ordered this yesterday it came in today you can't beat it how fast these guys ship local white company ship all around the united states all around the world they ship to guam they keep a lot of stuff in stock that you can't find in other places the best price of four carbon leader line if you want to get those real adventure lucky fishing hats this is the place to do it check them out links are in the bow links for all the stuff i use are also in the bow ifishgear.com support the dream unbelievable guys thank you to bill and the crew as always check them out but uh back to the show here we go boys and girls 12.45, the tide is coming up. 3.45 is the high tide. Three more hours. 
I just did a change. The water was really flat. It started to get a little more bumpy, which is better. But I uh, put a four hole scoop on that side. Uh, another uh, 100% center on this one. Because it's so flat, I'll have a little texture on the water. Just like normal, be old fashioned. When the tide starts to drop and it's a low tide, the swell picks up over here. It's not nothing too crazy. It's just a really short interval right now. Tide is going down, hour of 45 to the low tide change. And about like 15, maybe 20. Sea swells in about five feet. I'm gonna change the bigger one. The pitch went up. It's trying to come up slowly. Alright, let's go. Don't wanna get wet. Don't wanna get wet. I got a pile of fish up right here. So where the eyes were in earlier, let's see. Oh we say three bites today, early bite, late bite, wait for the late bite. Still waiting for that late bite. Here we go boys and girls. On after the tide change, I'll tell you what. Everything is definitely starting to stand up and come to life. Let's see what happens on the tide change. I mean, it's gonna be epic. Let's see. Oh, I just had an eye fin right there. Between us and the boat, I just saw a stick of eye. Oh, wild. I saw you go off Oh, saw the stick again. Oh, there's some tuna there. Rye, get eyes right here, Rye. Right, get eyes right here. Right, watch the sickles. Let's see the sickles right there. Let's see the sickles right there. Get on, that's the one. That's the one, Ryan. Right in the birds. Give him the bird. Give him the bird. Oh, that's a big one. That's a good size one. On the reverse. Dirty much reverse. Herb, right to the line. See his first eye. Is this going to be your first one, Ryan? Good there, deep color, you see him? That's I. Alright, the boy getting his first eye. That was my goal for today. So I don't care how many I catch as long as he gets his first one. He's got a 99 even so far. He never got over 100 yet. Oh, flip it up, he stays on. Oh. Should you stick him, you gotta lift his head. You can't lift his head down. His head stays down. Take off. Okay? You stick him, stick him in the head good. Lift his head up, I'll grab him with a second yeah. You cannot let his head dip. We let his head dip, he's gone. I'm a swimmer. See him, huh? Swimmer. Hold on. This one's a swimmer, hold on. Go get him, right? Get him right! Hold on, hold on. Got the bat. Turn off this reel, turn the reel off. Turn the reel off. Okay? Get him right in the head. Get him good, hit him some more. Hit him some more. Okay, that works. Well, it's close. Well, it's close. I'm gonna be get 100. He's under still yet. The hunt is still on. Huh? Yeah. 
Oh, we, we reverse. Perfect. It's not I yet. Close, getting closer. All right. I'm gonna turn down, so I'll put the lines out. And then, you deal with that guy, okay? Yeah. Nice one. Good job, good job. Okay. Well, I just got down Gillian got him. Oh no, we're gonna go back up, see. With the weight boy reverse. So wait, I'll be learning shell. I was gonna wait something else. I thought I thought it did a, a dirty monkey, but it was a, the, the weight boy reverse. Alright, let's go back up, see. Right, should I still line off my long rear on this side after? Just a little bit before I turn. That's good, that's good. Perfect. Okay, let's go back up, see. Let's go get some more boys and girls. Not even the tide change yet. All right, here we go. I think that tuna fish is high 90s. Like 95, 96, somewhere around there. So, I don't think it's an eye. I gotta be 100 pounds. And 100 pounds gillian gut, not just 100 pounds. So, I told her I don't think so. It's close, but I don't think so. So, we gotta get another one. We gotta keep going. It's still early. Got three and a half hours left. Let's see if we get another one. Let's see if we get a bigger one. He said, I heart. He needs to eat his eye heart for lunch today. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, it's not going to be for dinner. All right, here we go. Let's get back up to it. Oh, uh, two of us. On the octopus all surfing. Ah, oh, he's just eating him. Come on, baby, one time! Let's see it go! That's all eyes right there! Oh, Ricky just missed, huh? Long ring on this side, miss. 20 minutes later. Double, huh? Double. Yeah. Yeah, so far to come off. I think up to this point so far in the day, we probably missed maybe about four or five bites. I'm not sure if it was because there's so much bait in the water or what. They weren't biting hard. They'd kind of bite and swim with it. It seems like a lot of us were having that same problem this day. They would bite, but they wouldn't fully commit. It's like they would swim with the lure and let it go. After the tide changed, the bite pretty much shut down. I think there was one more boat still at the buoy with me. And I told Rai, the fish are here. Our best chance to get you your eye is today, for sure. Never leave fish to find fish. I knew with the sun going down, half an hour before dark, we would hopefully get one more opportunity. Winners never quit, and quitters never win. Never give up. Okay, we got him on another one. Let's go over to the Fat Lady Sings. We got one coming up. Let's see if we can get Rise Eye today. That was my goal. I don't care if I caught no eyes today. Oh no, I care. I want to get one. But I didn't need to load my box. I just want to get one. I had to get Rise first. I had to pop his eye cherry today. Let's see if we can do it. Hopefully, this won't be it. It seems like a bigger one. Here's more electric reels. These are awesome. If you really want to see your arm, this is the reel. It's a real one, right? 
Hold on. Shots took about a motor. You get ready, huh? I'll tell you the swimmer. I'll tell you the swimmer. Right, guys, stick him right. Stick him right. Good shot, good shot, right? Good shot. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Look at him. Grab your bat. It's a real one. Got it. Right above his eye. Hard. Hold on, hold your gap. Give me that gap. Give me that back. Hold your gap. Yeah, bring it up. Don't let him jump now. Catch his tail. That's your first eye right there, buddy. Congratulations. That's your first eye. That's that gap shot, too. Huh? Not a bad guy. Looks like, oh yeah? Oh yeah. A fatty. Fatter than other ones. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Ice blue reverse. We got two on reverses today. Tell you what, my goal for this year is to get Ice versus I. I'm pretty sure that's it. Pretty sure that's it. Bring another two, right? Oh, definitely. <laughs> the second one was closed. This one, I'm pretty sure, is over. That's an I. Good job, right? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't throw away his heart. That's dinner. 30 minutes before dark. He's six minutes before the line's out. I know it take a lot longer than that. 30 minutes before dark, let's see if we get one more. That's three. One eye for sure. One, ah, eh, question mark. One, definitely a, a big sheepy. I always say high fish care. Gotta love it. A Jing Kai leader. Hooks everything from high fish care today. On point. And those gizmo lecher reels. I don't know if this video does any justice about the the bad that was happening today. It was like whatever could go wrong was going on. That's how today was. Unbelievable. And it wasn't on Riot, it wasn't part of it was on me, but it just in general, it was like just bad luck. It's weird. I was like, ugh. You gotta keep going, you gotta keep going. Positive vibes, positive vibes, all you do positive. It works out. Here we go, boys and girls for the dream. That's three. Yeah you. I guess we'll see a rise, poke and shave us, because it was a poke shop. We'll see this poke shop, and uh, we'll probably get some kind of epic new poke recipe or dish, or I don't know. But I'm hungry, I'm excited. That, that, one P, that one PDG all day didn't cut it. All right, let's go. Let's clear lines. Awesome. Yeah, as you know the rules, if it's your first eye on the boat, that was my first eye ever. Yeah. You know what you gotta do? The eye heart, you gotta take a bite. Let's see it. As the captain, it's only customary. Not bad at all. All right. What? <laughs> the shoe is not like bad. Yeah. Let's take a stiff for you. Now let me show you, oh, it'd be perfect. All right, there it is. We'll see a rice poke shave ice uh, off of the fish. Pretty epic. Good job on your first eye, right? Now the head in in the dark. Day two. One thirteen. Okay, it's official on the certified scale. It's first eye, one thirteen. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get Henry to go print the tail for him. Henry's a gill taco master, so we're gonna print it for him. Ryder's gonna make another special poke just for us. You guys like it, you guys asked for it. So here's another from Ryder himself. And today we're gonna make the... What are you making? Oyster. Oyster. Yeah, oyster sauce. Oyster poke. Oyster sauce poke. So I guess the oyster sauce gives it what, a, a sweet taste? Yeah, sweet with mint ginger. It's kind of more the sweeter side. Nice. All right, well let's get to it. So you already pre-cut the fish. Which is epic. Helps us out, save some time, and uh, so yeah, it's some pretty simple ingredients, I guess. I guess you're basic, and then, uh, so what, what do you put in it, Ryder? So, you always start it off, all the poke gear, we try to start it off with salt and sesame oil. 
top it off with some on, uh, green onions and onions and then we just put some shoyu dashi oyster sauce and then we mixed up some ginger and this is his special show it's not regular show you he like makes his own thing with like on needle flakes and everything right and now one of my friends meet me from the mainland today so he never had pokey before so we got some on today uh -oh. so we got the pokey in the bowl ready to go and uh first here's how it goes first we add the salt Trying to pull all the fish. So let me ask you this, Ryan. Are you gonna have to taste test this before it's complete or do you think you have it pretty spot on? Oh, it's so I, it kind of depends. This is my personal, my probably personal favorite poke. I like the sweetness of it. It's super thick. The only thing that I like to try and make sure it get on point is a perfect amount of ginger. You don't want oh, too so much. So you have to taste this in there. Yeah, this one. I don't like to add too much. The other ones you kind of got down there, you already know. Yeah, this but one. But this one, you gotta get just right because the ginger can overpower it, right? Yeah. And this is a special uh, shoyu sauce. He puts a lot of effort into making that, you wouldn't believe. And it's unbelievable. It definitely changes the whole poke. You can go anywhere with the same ingredients, it's not gonna taste the same because of that, right there. That's the chef's side of right right there. Then we got white onions. Nice flavor, a nice crunch. Add the color yeah, to the it. Oyster sauce, I like to add a little bit more onions to the ratio than green onions. I don't know, with that um, the sweetness, I like the sweet onions with it as well. Good. I like your guys add a lot of onions if you guys don't skip on that stuff. Yeah. I like to try and get at least one onion per cube. So you guys say even when you make your avocado one, right? Yeah. You're a little bit like avocado in every bite, right? Yeah. See this is the easy part is mixing it together. You don't see all the <laughs> hard work of prepping this, prepping that, making that. When it comes down to the mixing, he, he made it a little easier for himself, right? Because all the prep work is done. Uh, the, the magic show you right there. This just should try to get it, make it a little bit more wet, so it's not so thick. It already smells good. I can, I can smell it. Nothing like fresh poke in the morning. Right now is 10:22. You open at 11. This is gonna be my my brunch right here. But, oh, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. If you don't like poke, you are not from Hawaii. And you know what I learned when I was in California this past week, Ryder? Poke in California is spelled with an I. Poke. <laughs> yeah. I always say poke and people get mad at me, so I make sure I say poke. It was, it's poke, not poke. But you know what? California spells it with an I. Everywhere I went, it's poke. That's what I noticed. Right? I was like, what the hell is that? But then I like to mix my ginger up. Whoa. I made oyster sauce poke before, but I never ever put ginger on it. That's a. Definitely an interesting combo. I want to see how this comes out. I know it can't be bad. <laughs> it can definitely only enhance it. Yeah, it's personal preference. Some people like the ginger. Some people don't. I mean, as, long, as long as you don't overpower yeah. it, it's good. If you overpower it, it's too much. You just gotta try and find the right thing to do. I showed up here at 10 o'clock, right? And there's like six different people waiting outside. I was like, I don't think he's open yet. <laughs> oh, I don't people know. wanted poking for breakfast. Yeah, we usually get that early morning rush and then one at the very end. The end of the day? Yeah, right when I was finishing So work. what are you open right now? What, seven days a week still yet? Seven days a week, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Sundays the 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. I will put his uh, information about the links in the box. If you want to check them out, sit by, check them out. Always fresh, always local. Can't beat it, the good stuff. All right, now here's how the how this style poke gets its name, right? Yeah, the last thing, oyster sauce. It's gluten free, only because they have some people in the. Oh, it's gluten free. Yeah, that prefers to have gluten free, and I tried it without the gluten free one, and there's no real taste difference. That I know. I don't even know what the hell gluten is. <laughs> is it like wheat or something? God, yeah. It's something like that, right? Now, the reason he uses like his hand with a glove is because if you use a spoon, it works good, but you can smash the fish too much. Like this, you can kind of just like roll it so it's not smashing a fish. 
Yeah, I also like to get that low me try to make sure I spread all the ginger around. Yeah, this, this is the best way to mix fish for sure. Hands down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the best way to get fully mixed up. What about smashing the fish? I see a lot of people, they mix it, they're just smashing the whole fish up. That's not what you want. Oh, that looks good. You said the smell, you gotta walk that. You, you have to walk that, that smell. That's good stuff. So yeah, I don't like to be too much. I like to keep it on the lighter side, because once you put it into the fridge, it kind of thickens up the sauce. So it's gonna thicken up a little bit more. So is that, is that pretty much done? Pretty much, I gotta taste it. Or if anything, I gotta change it to how much ginger I add in. Let me eat your spoon. Yeah, let's see it. No need to add too much, I think we shouldn't be able to add any more. It should be good? Yeah. You think so? All right, let's see. I never tried this before, it's new for me. This is right new. Let's let's see. Let's see. Oh. I'm not seeing this because of the video. I'll be honest with you. Every time you come here, you blow me away. You blew me away the other time with the spices. They go, that's that's wild. You blew me with the hot the hot the hot pokey, which is by far one of my favorites. I think I have a new favorite now. I think it's just enough because you can just taste the hint of ginger. Yeah. And it's not overpowered, it's just on the tail end, right? Yeah, my go to is this with spicy ahi. Can I get that sweetness? Oh, with this spicy. is wow, this is good. Oh, this is real good. That's perfect. Like that is like right there, like just a little bit hint of the ginger. It's not overpowering. Wow, that's impressive. You did it again. I'm not saying that can real. I'll tell you something. That's pretty badass, right? I guess you make pokey every single day for over a year, you're gonna become a master of pokey, you know what I mean? I the pokey master himself. <laughs> That's gonna be your new nickname, the pokey master. I like one thing I always say is, you can tell the way a, 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 a food establishment is, is by their kitchen. You never see people's kitchen. Look at how clean this place is. He has a Christmas tree to set the mood. But his place is unbelievably clean. He keeps it clean. And that just shows you the kind of quality you're putting out there and how important it is to them to put out the best product possible. Clean, clean, clean is priority number one, which is always impressive. So he's gonna make a few more pokes still yet for, to start his day. We're not gonna show you those because we have to see those for another video, of course. But uh, we're gonna wait till he's done making that and we're gonna get ourselves a, a poke we're gonna eat it. And we have some friends from the mainland who's never eaten poke before. So it's gonna be impressive to see what they think. They've never had pokey before, so they're gonna be here shortly. And uh, I guess we'll see you once he's done making the rest of his pokies for today. Looks good though. All right, let's get Thank to work. You. Start making more. Yeah. So we got my friends from the mainland here. Today's his birthday. So we're saying, oh, he never had pokey before, so we're gonna try it. So this is spicy. First bite. All right. First bite of poke. Eat hey, sushi, it's fine. Oh. Not bad, right? That's super good. <laughs> That is super good. So this is another spicy one. And spicy shoyu. So Hot shoyu. Shoyu. Right? Black California style where they put all kind of weird That's stuff crazy. in. This is legit poke. Okay, yeah, we don't do poke like that. Why not? Oh yeah, it's totally different. It's all soy yeah, beans, yeah. all kind of weird stuff. That one's sweet, so that one's not sweet. spicy at all. Okay. That was good to me that day. I think it was good. I tried that for the first time today. That's spicy. That spicy yeah, is good? Spicy. spicy is good. So first time I poke, what do you think? Pretty good? That was great. That was great. I love it. <laughs> All right, so we have some poke bowls. This guy is. It's a double up. For the dream. <laughs> for the dream. For the dream. All right, so we're leaving here. Well, I just poke a shit Like I said, check them out. Support local. It's good to meet my, my new friend from Sacramento. He's here on vacation today, it's his birthday, so he's like, why not? We got Poke Bowls, meet me for some Poke Bowls. So, but uh, I guess that's it. I guess I'll see you guys next week. Why is first eye the other day? What's wrong with that? All right, everybody, see you guys next week. As always, tight line, stay fishy. We'll see you on the water, under the water. What Hello, everyone.